Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be talking to you about how ooh, how I care for my pitcher plant or Nepenthes. Now I have to preface this video by saying that I am nowhere near an expert in caring for this plant. I really do not know too much about carnivorous plants. Um, I just get a lot of questions about this plant and how I care for it Like it's probably the plant that I get the most questions about and I don't know if that's just because there isn't a lot of information on them I think that must be it because even I struggle to find care information for them um, But I'm just going to tell you from my point of view my experience what I do to care for it and it's doing pretty well it has I think five pitchers right now and it does have some more on the way so yeah this is what it looks like I've posted photos of it on Instagram before and you guys have seen it on my channel um yeah a super cool unique plant it's chilling in this terracotta just cuz I don't really know why but it's actually just in a plastic pot a plastic nursery pot so yeah I'm just gonna jump into the things that I do to care for this plant I've written them down. So I actually don't know the exact type of Nepenthes this is. Somebody's commented before. Please let me know if you know. I'm sure that the like carnivorous plant experts will be cringing at this video. So don't attack me. Help me. Leave me information. Leave us all information. We can chat below in the comments. But um, I have been told whatever type this is that it's an easy type. So that's probably why it's doing well for me. <laughs> So this plant lives in 100% sphagnum moss and that is because when I bought it, it was planted in sphagnum moss. So when I repotted it, which I did, I don't know, probably sometime at the beginning of the spring, I decided just to continue um, doing just sphagnum moss and it has been working well. I do keep the sphagnum moss moist at all times. I don't think that they like to dry out. I think they typically live in like boggy areas. So I am watering this thing like every few days. Like it's even getting just a little bit dry to the touch right now. So I'll just water it and then I just pop it back into its little terracotta. Try to make sure not to crush any of the pitchers. Another important thing to note while watering is not to fertilize it. These plants do not need fertilizer because they make their own food. They catch flies, mostly like small fruit flies and fungus gnats in their pitchers and there's some sort of, what's the word? There's some sort of like acidic fluid or something that breaks it down and then they digest it and they create their own food, which is so cool and unique. Oh, a common question that I get about this is if it smells bad. I guess that's a thing, but no, I do not notice a smell coming from mine <laughs> to answer that question. So I have never fertilized this plant. However, I was just reading recently that they can be fertilized with an orchid spray, like the one I used to fertilize my Hoya. So um, I've never tried that. Maybe I will and see just like lightly to see how it tolerates it. But for the most part, you don't need to fertilize them. And another common question I get is if I use distilled or filtered water and I don't, I just use regular tap water. I'm sure it would really benefit if I um, did use, I'm sure all my plants would benefit if I did use like nice filtered water or rainwater would probably be ideal. Um, I really need to start collecting rainwater. Luckily it rains here like nine months out of the year. So we should be good once the fall and winter comes. This guy lives in a south facing window so he gets a lot of light and he also gets a lot of direct sun and so far he really likes it there he's grown a lot actually he actually even has like a little baby like offshoot right here um and that's just new from this spring so he's pretty happy up there so i'm just gonna <laughs> let him live his life and the pictures do die off naturally so i actually i should have taken a picture or something but one started crisping up and browning the other day so i just cut it off i think it was i think it was off of this one um yeah i just no it was off of this one so i just cut it off right there and um i don't really leave much of the vine or anything i don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but that's just what i do just because i don't like the look of them like rotting there so i just snip them off 
I think that these do like high humidity as far as I know. I used to mist it, but now I have my humidifiers going again. And um, like I've said before, misting doesn't really make a huge difference. Like momentarily it will provide more humidity. I, I heard someone else say that they missed their pitcher plant like multiple times a day. So I was like, oh my God, so I was misting mine. Um, but I have not misted it for months and it's doing pretty much the exact same. So I don't think that that's necessary. But that's pretty much all I do. This is going to be a short video because that's really all I have to say. I don't know too much about these plants. I know there's different types of things you can do to care for them or keep them over the winter. I have yet to research that. Um, it's just like very overwhelming to me. So if you have any information on keeping these plants in the winter time, please leave it down below for me. I would love to read about it. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you to the people who requested this video. This is a really cool plant and I like it a lot. So I'm really happy to share about it. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.